Hi, everybody. I'm here with Amita Jane, the CEO of Readability. And I wanted to catch up with Amita because many parents are struggling at home to teach their children, to help their children not fall behind, to keep their children um, uh, learning. And Amita is, has, had, in, has created many products for children, and I thought Amita could help us and give us some tips. So thank you very much for being here, Amita. Can you hey, tell Brisbane. us a little bit about yourself? Sure. So um, I've been in the tech space for way too many years, but the wonderful thing about being in this space is you can be really creative. And I've been fortunate enough, and we've been fortunate enough to work together where we get to work on projects that really help advance humanity through technology. And we've done, Marcel and I have worked on child safety, online child safety. Um, we are working together on energy efficiency for the home. And now we get to work on um, really advancing uh, tech and education, so ed tech. And so the latest project that we're working on together is readability. And how it all started is we really wanted something to help um, advance children's uh, reading capabilities, really help them develop those skills, because we feel like if they can read well and comprehend what they're reading, they can do anything. They can do math, science. So really the foundation for all learning is through reading. And how relevant and how magical that you've released this app at a time where every child needs to advance almost by themselves. And, you know, parents are having to figure this out. So I know for myself, I have three children and mm -hmm. I'm working while my children are home. So I have to rely on their ability to read and comprehend and essentially teach themselves. So how can how does readability help to make sure the children are understanding what they're reading and advancing their comprehension of the material? Right. So, you know, readability is for young readers, I would say first to sixth grade and um, it really helps in developing those skills. So, you know, we're talking about fluency, decoding, um, comprehension, really words per minute, the accuracy. And so the way it works is you'll set your child up and then they will go through it. The AI reads to your child aloud and then the child is prompted to read back to the AI and the AI captures their voice. It corrects them real time so that it'll prompt them to, you know, uh, re-say a word if they didn't say that word right and then at the end of the story or short passage they're asked a question several questions about what they just read because we want to make sure children are understanding we want to help also develop those critical thinking skills so never in a million years could we have imagined a year ago when we set out on this project that 39 million children would be out of school and parents out of jobs um, or, or working from home and forcing uh, to learn how to homeschool their children and come up with these schedules that work for everyone. And it's, it's um, really been a challenging time, but we can make the most of it. You know, if you're in a position where you are working from home, your kids are okay, they're getting their online assignments done, you know, uh, after that, it's like, okay, our, how hard are we going to drive our kids? How hard are we going to make this for ourselves and for our children? And so that's a question we want to we want to be asking. And I know you have two children that are now in call, actually graduated from college. So, yes, what's I have some of, adults. Yeah. so what's some of the, you know, best advice, what some uh, experiences that you can share with us who have young children that are home and that are still uh, learning to read or progressing in their basic reading skills? What I would say to parents today at this very moment is that children absorb everything and they will have memories of this based on how we all behaved as parents as the role models and so if you're going to be stressed and nervous um, with your kids while you're trying to work and homeschool them maybe that's not the approach um, all the kids are in the same position they're at home they're all we're all trying to figure it out and I would say ease up a little bit for sure and try to you know, incorporate some of the things. What, so, for example, when my kids were little, there are several things I really wanted them to have that went into adulthood. 
And so when I think about the idea of um, having, being able to create that peace in your mind, that p peaceful environment, that was something that was really important that I wanted to teach my kids. We are Gen X, so we were kind of left to our own devices. We didn't have all these things to entertain us, so it was our creativity. It was our mind, or maybe we sat in our room and read, our, read a book, and we were happy with that, or listened to music and you know, Drew, uh, there, there are so many things that we did as Gen Xers that I think kids could really, um, parents can take advantage of now and do some of those same things. So I would say peace, P you know, creating or uh, letting your child know that having these quiet times are actually amazing and good and should be appreciated. And, you know, one of the things that I really um, wanted to help my kids with when you, you look at life's challenges, we all have when we all have stress. One of the things I wanted to pass along to my children was the ability to cope, right? We've talked about this, Marcella, like, you know, when I think about my kids, did I want them to be cookies and crumble? Or did I want them to be like souffles and rise to the occasion? So, you know, we want our kids to be souffles. We want them to be able to manage difficult situations. And again, that goes back to how we how we cope, how we manage things. And so if we can give our children the ability, the skills to cope through difficult situations, they are going to uh, thrive. They will thrive, they will survive, they will carry on, they'll keep moving, and that's what we want our kids to do.